Hi guys, it's Ray. Today I am going to attempt, I haven't done one in a while, so I'm probably going to be a little bit rusty, but I'm going to attempt the Alcohol Ink Saran Wrap Camouflage Tumbler. Um, I don't have a true camo colored one handy. I only have the um, purple and pink one I did. This was kind of like a muddy girl. This is hopefully going to get decaled sometime this week and actually finished and out of here. But So I'm going to attempt a camo. I pulled, and I don't know which of these I'll end up using, I pulled Butterscotch, Sunset Orange, Teakwood, this one I think is Meadow. The label on this is bad. I got a really good deal on like oopsie bottles of inks. So there's that. I've got I've got the pitch black out. I will use that super super sparingly. I've also got pesto, which I may or may not use any of. I believe pesto is a greeny brown. Yep. A darker green. So I do like that. I've also got Rainforest Green from Pinata, and I have the Espresso for another brown. I just put my elbow in epoxy, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. This is just regular old plastic wrap. This one's Walmart brand. I'm going to start by... I'm not going to worry about it being too flat. The wrinkles are fine. This can be manipulated and worked until you're satisfied with the look you achieved. So I'm just going to start sprinkling some out. You can end up with a muddy, muddy mess if you're not careful. It happens, but it's not unfixable. It is really hot, so I'm going to have to work probably a little quicker than normal and I may end up doing more of a blotting technique which I find works for me better anyways than the wrap method but I'm going to start this way just to get some color on the cup quicker so a little bit of green a little bit more green of a different shade don't be afraid to mix colors and see what you got. I mean, it's camo. It's going to be green and brown anyway, so if the green or the brown muddy and make a darker brown, it's not going to be the end of the world. I do want to break up some of that orange. Like I said, the only thing you really want to be careful of is the black, because the black will completely take over. And another green. And I think I'm going to go ahead and add in a little bit of butterscotch, just because it's here. And it'll give me another little bit of an orangey tone. So, that's all my color colors. I'm going to go ahead and put like three drops of black. And for whatever reason, the black always seems to come out the fastest. Just because it's what you want the least of. So, I have a cup. It is prepped and painted white. And I'm just going to drop it on here. And bring the saran wrap over. Bring the saran wrap over. It's okay if you don't get full coverage on the first pass because for me, I am going to build and layer. Um, and I do, like I said, I don't mind the wrinkles because that gives you more of that leafy look where if you start too, too flat, you're not going to get as much of that. So I'm just pressing it on, pressing it on. I should be wearing gloves. My hands are going to be covered in inks. They're already covered a little bit from other projects this morning. So it'll be all right. All right. So I'm going to remove my saran wrap. I know it looks a hot mess right now. It'll be fine. I promise you. You can keep using this piece and going over it 
instead of starting fresh every time. I'm just going to do the same exact thing because I do want more beginning coverage than that. You know, like I'm sure I didn't get the bottom at all yet or the top of the rim. And I didn't really pay attention to my base coat. It appears to be just a flat white. So sometimes like a semi will work better on the alcohol inks a little slicker surface but so I'm gonna go ahead and do it again maybe at a different angle blah 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 but you can see it'll start to take shape I'm gonna go ahead and use what's on there still to get the bottom a bit I know I'm off frame. I'm sitting down and I normally stand so I can't actually see my camera. But this is why I like the wrinkles. Can you see what's starting to happen here? You can start to see it getting the leaf veins. That's what you're going for. And my hand is getting to be a mess. But I'm just rotating the cup on that surface using up all the ink that's on it you don't actually roll it you want to kind of blot it and pull away and blot and pull away around and around and around I know there's several different methods out there of this I'm just gonna get rid of this sheet because it's bigger than I need at this point. I'm just going to grab a couple of smaller sheets. A little bit more manageable. And I'm going to scrunch it up quite a bit this time. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. should really stand up so I can see what I'm doing but this is my fourth cup video I've done back to back this morning well it's afternoon now I'm going to skip the black this time so I'm just gonna sneak my hand under there and leave it scrunched I'm going to start on the top where I don't have as much to begin with, just to finish filling that in. But you can see as I blot and as it dries, the different effects you get. Like this where it looks like I've smoothed, I want to get some wrinkles on there, so I'll hit that on an extra wrinkly bit. But any combinations of greens and browns and orange, you're not really going to see blaze orange. That's not what you're going for. For the pink and purple one, that one was a little more difficult. That did require more black. And I may actually have switched to like a slate gray instead of the black on that one. I can't remember. That cup's been sitting here for quite a while. It really needs to get finished. When your thing starts to dry out, do some more. If you feel like it's too muddy, grab another sheet. There's no right or wrong. You don't have to use every color every single time even. If you want to build layers one or two colors at a time, do it that way. But I do want to make sure I get the bottom more. But the wrinklier you keep your saran wrap, the more 
veiny leafy bits you'll get in your tumbler. You know, when you do the regular um, saran wrap cup, and maybe I'll start one of those in just a minute when I'm finished with this. I'll switch to a fresh video because I do have one more white prepped cup sitting here. You really want your saran wrap scrunching up so you get some of that white negative space left. I am pretty satisfied with some of this. I think I'm going to put I'm trying to think what I want to do. If I want to leave it. Sometimes I get in my own head and I overwork stuff. But I do want kind of more of that vein look. So paper is driving me nuts. I'm going to keep it quite a bit extra scrunched this time. And I think I'm just going to do some orange. I'm going to go ahead with the espresso. And I'm going to go ahead with that meadow. And that's going to be it this time. So I'm going to keep it super scrunched. And I'm going to see where I might like to get some more of the veining. I feel like that's too much ink there, so I'm actually just going to roll it on this paper and take some back off. See what I mean by getting myself in trouble? I had a spot that looked decent, and now I've got to work it. Sorry, I'm just pulling it back towards myself so I can see it a little bit better. But now I have this like awkward looking space. And that's not to say that I've wrecked the cup. It's just saying I need a little spot I need to fix. Just gonna blot it together some. And almost let it evaporate a little bit before I go back in. I'm actually going to scrunch it up a little bit on a cleaner side and hit some of those wrinkles in. But you can keep working it and going over it until you get exactly what you're going for. And if you get a spot that you don't quite love when you're done, then that's where your decal goes. It's pretty simple. Um, these make great man cups because we all know that we don't want glitter for the guys. Or the guys don't want glitter, I should say. So, we do have to come up with other ideas for the man cup. I think that's better. 
don't really have a lot of the veining I want, but I'm gonna grab one more strip. <clears throat> I'm just gonna scrunch it and roll the cup along that and see if I can't force some veining in where the ink might still be wet. I'm just rolling it on that paper. You can see where the ink's still wet. It's taking some back off. But anyways, there's your Camo Man Cup. Simply done with a little bit of saran wrap and a couple of colors of alcohol inks. Simple, simple. Cool effect. Um, I love the way some of it looks. Some of it not as much. Like this spot that I ended up overworking um, is probably where my decal will end up going. I may work on the bottom a little bit more because that ended up more solid than I'd like. So I'll actually go ahead and do that right now. I'll just start a small section of basically just like we started the beginning of all the colors. Inks are messy. Again, I should be wearing gloves. And I'm just going to blot that on there. Let it dry a little bit. Because if I don't let it dry a little bit, it's just going to sit there and blend together. And not do what I want. I like that better. Now that I've got all these colors on here again, I'm going to go ahead and go over that spot that I wasn't quite satisfied with yet. And see if I can't get it to move and change just a little bit more. I like that a little bit better. Um... I don't typically seal my inks before I go to the epoxy step. Some people swear you have to, some people say you don't. Personal preference, I've only ever had one cup actually run that I didn't seal. So I would let this sit for a little bit, it's actually really hot. Um, so probably no more than an hour, I would go ahead and put this right on the turner and get its first coat of epoxy going and not have a problem with it. So, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm just gonna go ahead and cap up my inks. Um, I love working with alcohol inks. I actually prefer them to anything else. Unfortunately, sometimes people want glitter, but if it was up to me, every cup I made would be alcohol inks. So, um, I've worked with them a lot over the years. Some of my inks in my collection are actually the very, very first release of the Tim Holtz line. Way back in, I want to say 2004 or 2005. So, I have 15 years, 16 years of experience with inks under my belt. And I've just always enjoyed working with them on various projects. Um, I'm not going to put the saran wrap away yet because I am going to go ahead and do a standard saran wrap cup. But if you have any questions, you can ask here. I float around a lot of the Facebook groups, or you can go find my page on Facebook and ask me there. Um, but if you would please, please give me a like and a subscribe, I'd very much appreciate it. And have a wonderful day. Thank you.